A small white car pulls up to the curb in a residential neighborhood. This vehicle won't stay parked long because it's running on a schedule. Out steps Wilma DeVries. She drapes a bag of medical equipment over one shoulder and heads towards a nearby house. Wilma is a nurse on wheels. It is rewarding, but it's challenging at the same time. Wilma's been working in home care for eight years and in the medical field for close to 20. Her biggest struggle is juggling her private life and her job. Because it's a challenging career, it's really important that we do self-care as nurses. So to do self-care, we explore the kind of creative realm, and that being art. Two long rows of artwork have replaced a white hall in the Royal Jubilee Hospital's new patient care centre. The space is named Healing Hallways, and each piece of art begins with a nurse's story. This is a painting done by Wilma. It's titled Contemplation. Not necessarily a word you would first associate with the healthcare system, but that's the idea behind this exhibit, is to open your eyes and give new perspective on the nursing community. The response I get is, it's, it's, it's about time. Linda McLeod is the founder of Art by Nurses, a website company connecting nurses with their creative side. Healing Hallways is their most recent venture. Because I think generally what brings people into nursing is that right brain humanism and um, their want and need to um, connect with other people. So there's no nursing unless there's actually a connection. The connection reaches past the nurses and is a tool for hospital staff and patients too. It's also a, a place where we can connect with the community to say this is the work we do and um, we're really proud of what we do and our human connection comes at a, at a place where it's sometimes hard. Linda is hoping this project will catch on to hospitals across the country and she recently got some good news. The exhibit at the Royal Jubilee has been given an extension and will be on display until the end of March. In Victoria, I'm Jen Moranitz for The Daily.